Hi, this is a video clip to show you how to des define your own symbol component using G-Scheme. So the first thing you have to do is to fire up G-Scheme, um, like I have done here, which automatically will assign a untitled name to the schematic. And the first thing you want to do is to change that by, cha by saving the file once. So go to File, and then cl click Save. And then what you want to do is to save it inside a library folder, if you have one already. And you have to change the entire name because you cannot save it as an extent with an extension of SCH. So in this case, uh, let me check the name of the component. The component I'm trying to uh, create a symbolic entry for is a dual N-channel MOSFET chip uh, with the name of IRF8313. So we'll go ahead and um, I'll just try to see if I can do this in a lazy way. So we can do a copy and paste. So go to here, go save, <coughs> and paste. Oh, that works. Excellent. And then you save it as a symbol name, .sym. And obviously you can also you know, add the, um, um, the footprint name also here, depending on the component. Because some components have different printouts depending on the uh, the footprint. But in this case, I'll just do the simple thing and just name it as the component itself. So click Save. <coughs> and I have just uh, saved the file. The next thing you want to do is to change the zoom ratio so that it is uh, the grid here will display grid 100-100. Uh, in other words, you know, each grid cell is going to be 100 mil apart. Um, you can use the Z key for zooming. So you just type the, key, the Z key until it is easy to tell um, one cell or one square from the next. And it is also showing up here as 100, 100, which means um, the, smaller un the smallest unit it will use the quantum is 100, but it's also displaying at 100 mil. And we zoom it at the right ratio just about here. And then the first thing we want to do is to add the pins. You can go to Add, and then click Pin, which is down here. Or you can also type AP on the keyboard to do exactly the same thing. Once you have done that, um, you can draw the pins on the screen. Um, you click once at the connection terminal. And this is where it is going to be connected to in the schematic. And then you click again to stop that. And as you can see, you know, it will show something like this. And that's because I have forgotten to turn off um, making all the hidden text also visible. So we'll just disable that so it's not as confusing. And you just create you know, the eight pins that we need to do like this. And we have four pins on one side of the chip and four pins on the other side. Now on the opposite side, you want to start from the right hand side and then draw to the left hand side. So this way the connection pin or the connection spot or the hotspot will be um, of the right orientation. And don't worry about the unknown and everything is a pin zero at this point. We just draw all the pins at this point. Now that all the pins are drawn, we can go back and um, click the select mode. Or you can type S on the keyboard to switch back to select mode so that we are not going to draw any additional pins. You can click anywhere on the screen to make all the pins unselected at this point. Let's just say that we want to edit um, the attributes of this particular pin. So we click that. And then we type AA on the keyboard to bring up the single attribute editor, which is really, really a, have a useful tool. Um, and the first thing we want to do is to take a look at, uh, maybe not this one. I think it's E, T, nope. E, e yep, E, E is the one. Um, if you look under attributes, nope, it's not under attributes. It's under edit. Um, e, E is edit followed by dot, dot, dot. And this is a very universal screen for editing the attributes of a particular object. <coughs> so in this case, we have quite a few things to edit. And we can look back at the schematic 
or the data sheet to find out you know how we should edit it um, right here we have pin 1 being the source of the second <coughs> and channel MOSFET so we can try to imitate that here um, the pin type we can select one of the many ones that are useful and this one is let's call that you know passive uh, pin label is the name of the particular pin and we can preserve the same name as in the schematic which is all usually a good thing to do so that way the symbol um, is exactly the same as described in the data sheet so we use S2 to make this the source of um, the second and channel MOSFET pin number is the actual pin number which in this case is pin 1 now pin sequential number um, is just an ID or it has to be a unique number to identify this particular pin um, I have always only used the pin number you know which is the, sa the same as the pin number here um, to make it unique and also to make it so that it is easier to remember um, the sequential number the sequential number seems to be only be used uh, internally um, other than that I have no idea how the pin sequential number is used so right now I have I'm done with the first pin and I can do the same thing with the second pin which is uh, the gate of the second um, end channel MOSFET so I can do this thing here and instead of using passive I can use um, this is an input pin and the pin label is um, G2 pin number is 2 pin sequential number, number is 2 and we can then click the third one and according to the um, schematic I mean uh, the data sheet this <coughs> the third pin is the source of the first and channel MOSFET so we pretty much do the same thing here um, since it's a source we call it passive and this one the pin label is S1 pin number is 3 and the sequential number is also 3 and we can keep doing this until all 8 pins have um, the proper information now we can also define um, or draw the shape in other words I can draw a box um, surrounding all the pins or being surrounded by the pins so that it is, looks kind of like an IC just like that um, the box has no special meaning to uh, as far as schematic capture is concerned so it's really nothing more than really just a box and then the next thing we can do um, is to add a um, reference description to it um, and that applies to the entire thing and not a pin so I'm not really quite done with all the pins yet so I'm just gonna skip ahead a little bit here um, by uh, switching back to the select mode and this time I'll just type a single S on the keyboard to switch back to select mode and now I can click somewhere else on the screen so that it is no longer selecting a particular component and at that point I can add an attribute to the entire um, symbol and not adding an attribute to a specific object um, to do that using the menu you go to edit and then you can use the AT AP oh okay I think we need to go to the attribute menu and then we nope, it's not here either and let's see it is it is not one of here okay over here under add